Hey guys, welcome back to Elden Ring. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we are currently sitting on the threshold, I think, of the final battle. I could be wrong. Uh, but everything is starting to look very kind of end gamey. Uh, the Erd Tree is on fire, the Round Table Hold is on fire, everyone's dead there. Yeah, I think uh, I'm pretty sure this is. Uh, we're drawing to the end here. Which is quite exciting, but man, let me tell you, it has been quite a slog to start the game, man. There was a big update, and uh, it took forever to update, and then when it finally did load up, I was getting like this message saying, inappropriate activity. Like the anti-cheat software was kicking in, and I thought I was cheating or something. So it wouldn't let me log in, so I had to verify, that took like another hour or so, <laughs> man. Anyway, here we are. Here we are, and this is quite exciting. I have no idea what's beyond this mist wall, so without further ado, let's go check it out. Also, what am I running here? Ah. Spell Drake Talisman, that was for uh, when we fought Gideon. This is what we want. Let's do it. Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Bring it on, Godfrey. Man, he's coming out swinging. Ouch. happening oh god man every time i get close to him i'm just getting absolutely wrecked Okay, not too bad. Almost halfway. Let's go, Godfrey. I 
do not know what happened there. He missed us, somehow. The range, oh god. Dodge! <laughs> he is a feisty one. Hey, I remember that. Okay, phase two. And on our second try, not bad. But things are about to get a lot worse, I'm sure. That will be all. Thou didst me good service, Sirosh. Whoa! Enough. <sighs> now I fight as horror loo. Oh gosh. Whoa! Very nice. <laughs> oh, dude, just like that. The Beast Man. far away there, but better safe than sorry. Very nice. Gotta keep the pressure on, yeah? Gonna go to phase two. Phase three, very quick. Come on, Hora.
Oh, the second one, I always forget. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, very nice. Quickly. Dude. Tarnished. We got him. We got him. Holy crap, dude. Legendfeld. Remembrance of Horilu. Okay. Somehow I get the feeling this is not the end of it. That was tough though, let me tell you man. Holy crap. I thought Malaketh the Black Blade was tough, but uh Horilu. I think what made him really difficult was the second phase, obviously. And, uh, ooh, Elden Throne. Oh, it's just the name of the Sight of Grace. Uh, in the second phase, and he would do this, like, maneuver where he would, like, launch into the air and then pound the ground and, like, cause rocks and stuff to go flying into the air. And uh, I kept trying to dodge it while I was within the, the danger zone. And uh, I think it was actually undodgeable. So I think it took me a long time to, to realize that. Okay, so the thorns are all burned. And uh, we're here. After all this time, man. We're freaking here. Touch golden light. It's Queen America, dude. Oh, crap. It's not over. <laughs> we have to fight Queen America? Come on, man. Okay, so this must be Melania. Did she just turn into a man? Radagon of the Golden Order. Okay. Uh, okay, we are in serious trouble here. Okay, I want to save those. <laughs> I want to save these ruins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Radagon of the Golden Order. I forgot about him. Did... Is he Queen America? Nice, dude. Okay, so we have 300,000 ruins. Um, I actually... Between fights, um, I went and just just used up all of our golden, our golden ruins, our stored ruins, and it came to like six hundred and fifty thousand ruins. It gave us like five five extra levels. Um, 
So we've been, we've been wandering around with 600,000 runes in our back pocket. Um, so I guess, yeah, I guess we just keep leveling up. Back to it. Yes! Got you, you son of a bitch! No phase two, please. Looking like a phase two. Is it? It's a phase two, Elden Beast. Dude, what is happening? Do I have to fight Radagon again? Come on. Please. Very nice. I think we stunned it. Dude, we stunned it. Holy crap.
Okay, ring of fire. We can handle it. No problem. Okay, here comes the homing ball of bullshit. He's just throwing everything at us at this point. Okay, homing arrows. Too easy, man. What you got, beastie? Okay, triple ring. Here we go. Nice. Oh god. arrows just keep running just keep running dude it I can't believe it holy crap dude god slain Elden remembrance we did it we freaking did it man Oh, is that's that's what's left of Radagon. Touched. F oh, it's Marika. Yeah, something. So it's when you get into this arena, right? You see Marika kind of suspended from the Elden Ring, and then it turns into Radagon. So Marika and Radagon are one and the same. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, it only took us like three months to get to this point, so, I mean, might as well, right? Who's there? Fixed.
The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Our seed will look back upon us and recall an age of fracture. We did it, man. Holy crap, that was so difficult, man. I, I took me... It took me literally an entire day to do that. Um, like, first off, you gotta take on Radagon, and he's, like, really, really difficult. And uh, you also gotta, like, skip the cutscene every single time. You gotta touch the, touch the golden fog, and there's, like, this whole special thing that so takes ages. Then you gotta kill Radagon, then you get the Elden Beast. Um, so you gotta switch gears, all in the same battle, all with the same amount of health. Um, yeah man, really, really difficult. And um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, the the Elden Beast, I mean, we, we hear about Radagon throughout this entire game, right? They, they talk about Radagon. And, uh, you know, his story, and then you get to the final battle, and Radagon just has, like, one phase, and then he dies. He doesn't talk, he doesn't say anything. Um, and then suddenly there's an Elden Beast, which we, have, we haven't heard anything about throughout this entire game. So, I mean, it was a good fight. I just, just don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it kind of fit the story it seemed a bit weird to me anyway all in all man what a brilliant freaking game definitely game of the year contender hands down um loved every minute of it it's definitely the most beautiful from soft game i've ever seen the the world design and the, the care and the detail that went into this is just absolutely staggering man um every new area i was just absolutely blown away like top notch yeah you see that writer producer george rr R. martin um so i'm really unsure of the story at this stage i mean i, I get the gist of it um you know there was an elden ring and uh, it was born by Queen Marika, and then one day it was shattered. We don't know how or why. And death was then introduced into the realm. Um, I guess Malekith, the Black Blade, uh, killed uh, Godwin the Golden or something like that. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's hard to kind of piece it all together. So. So then Marika's children, the demigods, kind of all take on shards of the Elden Ring and they all become like mad and terrible and do bad things. And then suddenly the Tarnished, which is us humans, appear for some reason and uh, start trying to mend the Elden Ring. And uh, in the end, it turns out that Queen Marika was inside the Erd Tree the whole time. And uh, yeah, there's there's many many questions, man. I'm gonna have to do some digging and some reading, um, because I'd love to know more about the lore and and the story behind this game. Um, and just yeah, the gameplay, man. I, I didn't even scratch the surface. The, the surface, like I didn't do any sorcery. I didn't do any arcane. Um, there was still an entire section of the map I didn't explore. Um, but all in all, man, I've loved every single minute of this game. Um, yeah. 
I don't know what else there is to say. Oh yeah, Millicent. Um, there was the Millicent quest line. I'm sure there was more to do there. We just didn't really get to it or, f or find Millicent again. Um, there was also Nefeli Lu. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure there was more of a story behind her. Um, and, uh, yeah. That was a really, really tough fight though, I'll tell you. <laughs> It took me it took me a few days actually to do this last episode. I'm gonna cut out absolute hours and hours of of me just like trying again and again and again to to beat it. I mean, um, Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, was really really difficult, and uh, then he turns into Horalu, and that was like terrifying, man. That was like a serious fight. You finish that and you're like, oh great, you know, I've, I've finished the game. No. Then you get to Radagon. Radagon is like super, super scary. He just, he can just like spam stuff at you and he can just teleport around. And his teleportation does damage and staggers you. Um, and then you can just like jump into the air and spam lightning bolts. Man, he was really, really tough. And uh, then you get to the Elder Beast after that. And it's not like a normal fight where you have like a phase one and a phase two, because usually it's the same boss, just a little bit different. This is like a completely different enemy. So you really, really have to switch gears. Um, and the Elden Beast also has like a ton of like really difficult um, moves to dodge. Um, I think in that last fight I actually got really really lucky um, because it would do like a five strike combo thing which just decimated me every single time I can't tell you how many times I died to that freaking combo and in that last fight I got really lucky it didn't actually even do it once um, but yeah super super difficult man that's <laughs> That's the hardest FromSoft ending fight I've ever done. Um, not that I've done, like, wait, what? Samuel Jackson? Oh, it's a tester. <laughs> I just saw Samuel, Samuel Jackson's name scroll past. Um, and I thought maybe he was involved in some way, but it's just some tester who, who has the same name. Bizarre. Anyways, guys, yeah, um, amazing game, absolutely incredible, definitely going to have to play it again at, uh, at some point. Uh, I really do want to try out like a ranged kind of sorcery build, um, I've never really done that before. This build that I ran for, uh, for Elden Ring uh, was a strength build, it's the first time I've actually done a strength build. Which might sound strange it's like a, a go-to for most people but i normally do like a, a dex kind of bleed build which could also be really fun i see there's like a whole bunch of extra bleed stuff they've added um like bleed grenades and kind of bleed spells and what have you um but yeah bravo man begin journey two if you don't start over now, you can just begin journey two later at the table of lost grace in the round table hold. Uh, yeah, we'll do it later. Um, we're back in the round table hold. Does our armor look different? We have 500,000 ruins. Um, well, you, you managed to make a weapon that killed a god. Uh, so you can, you can stop smithing now, bud. Now. 
Well, he's, he just seems to really like smithing, I guess. Um, okay, so we didn't start journey two, so we can do it. Rest a table of lost grace. Ah, uh, okay, so we're still in our previous game. Um, and we can choose to do journey two. Anyways, guys, this is where I'm going to end the episode. Um, bravo. What an amazing game. It's been quite a ride. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you so much for coming along with me. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to have a think about what I want to play next. Um, I've had my eye on Stray, uh, which would be a nice change of pace. Um, because it's a nice, uh, short kind of story driven game. Um, because this is, this is by far the longest series I've ever done. And, uh, we managed to make it exactly 100 episodes, <laughs> which is quite fitting. Anyways, guys, thank you, thank you so much again for watching. This has been an amazing ride. I've loved every minute of it. You guys are amazing. You guys are fantastic. Um, yeah, until next time, take care. Bye-bye.